Sprout will bring out those vocab words. Yeah, yeah, you just really gotta have the thesaurus on uh, speed dial, you do. I suppose. Taking a look here, and hey, it is looking, gonna be 3-3 yeah, versus 3-3. The 3-3 three, three. Three, three mirror here, pretty expected. The real question is which, are they both gonna be going point, or are they gonna be taking the high ground respectively, having this high ground battle, which we see very commonly on this stage in the fall. We're gonna find out. I mean, some teams do prefer going for straight high ground, other teams go, you know, we're, we're gonna go point, and we do have a Gingy's difference going in point. styles. Yeah, Genji's going point, GC Busan going for high ground, and this probably just gonna end on the point, but it's gonna give Free a little bit more room to maneuver. Free right now, just looking to drop down. It's very likely he might actually go for a flank. Look for the boop to this place. Some of the Jinji backline. He's right yep. now. He's on top of. He's on top of. He's on top of fuse. He's on top of them. He went for the backline flank early. Uh, Dan's getting very, very low there, and so is Bakid. It, and all this early poke damage is really putting Genji on the back foot. They have to back really out. Really good engage They're, for Jisoo wave right now. Yeah, I mean, Genji, also good disengage. A lot of people are low usually. Look at the shatter comes out oh, from Such an early shatter coming in from Ion. Dance couldn't get away from it. And now, GC Busan wave. Take first control. Really smart play as well. Getting sped around by Daydream. Ion just moving. Has that shatter so early. And drops the solo shatter onto Dance. Free is there to clean up drop from that high ground. Really, really good engage for DC Busan Wave. Well, you think about that engage and how they set up too. They just left open the option for the flank. Genji was kind of all together in one group, and Free, meanwhile, he went a little bit freelancing there and just got Genji sort of. Lancing. Yeah, free they, went freelancing. Went freelancing to the back. Genji now going to get a little bit caught here, trying to go through the small door on top, and DC Busan Wave saying, you know what, we're gonna slam this door in your face. Try Genji going around the other way. They're just running away from that rally. The combo gonna be coming up very soon for both teams. Oberon getting super low here. Dropping the Shatter under pressure. Gonna connect. Knocking down a few. GC Busan Wave. Looking to fight it back. Transcendence in reserve right now. The pin and fall through. Gonna be coming out here. Daydream down. Genji moving back in. Bakito out of the fight. It is very back and forth. Self-destruct in from GC Busan Wave. Making a little bit more room. Genji. They've invested just about everything they had available here and still unable to dislodge GC Busan Wave. Oh, there's Ion Shatter coming out. Getting that flail and actually getting the poop. Unable to get any value from the barrier broken, but Jisoo Busan wave. They're still sitting on point, contesting. They're getting ready. They're waiting for Daydream to be back. He is. They could use this beat extremely aggressively because remember, Stalker uh -oh. used that grab early in the fight. And Dan's just going to get caught. Jisoo Busan wave, finding a way to move in, making the barrier just to make it a little bit safer. And as a result, Jisoo Busan wave now. Less really one fight and not even a strong fight away from taking this round. And will y'all getting that late D mech, leaving them there. The stagger so crucial for GC Busan. Wave Edison, he's got the grab. Dance extremely close to the trance though. The grab just looking for the zone on choke there. Risky here. Overtime still in progress. Are they gonna be able to touch it in time? No! The Graviton working out. Where uh, GC Busan Wave not joining the elite of teams, so to speak, where you throw out the grab to stop a point touch. The point touch happens anyways, and you just wonder, where'd my grab go? Sometimes that does happen. Very, very good first round there for GC Busan. Wave moving out here onto the Sanctum. We might be seeing, we might be seeing Edison's McCree come out once again. Ion here on the on the Arisa. You know, you can never trust what you see in the spawn doors, but I would not be surprised at all for this composition. No, and this is one of those so-called so bunker comps that does work, right? You run the Arisa because Arisa is a bigger threat here on Sanctum than she is on other maps just because of the threat of environmental pickoffs. And McCree has a lot of room to rotate around and find good damage. So I think this makes perfect sense coming out from GC Busan Wave. For Gen G though, they're gonna be looking just to take the fight directly to him. Yeah, GC Busan is gonna be moving here to the pillar side, trying to look for the control. There's the pool, not getting one just yet. Gen G, they have two choices. Do they look for the engage or they try to pressure point? Realistically, they have to look for the engage though. They immediately look for the gauge. Highly aggressive with Winston. They use the bubble just to shield the entry there, but GC Busan way the back out. Oh, Dance finds Daydream. That's going to give Genji just the early point presence here. And I think you have to get off the McCree now. You have to, I mean, you have to make a choice once again, but I, I don't think it's necessarily you have to swap. GC Busan Wave, though, are going to swap anyways. Now, Genji hold point, looking to catch GC Busan as they enter from the chokes. GC Busan gonna be moving in to the right. Gen G now, they can just play the standard Nepal defense on the stage where they rotate around. They take advantage of the fact that they can wait a while for ticks. They can position themselves in a good way. We all, though, goes for the flank and goes just gets the completely caught. And then yeah. gets, this is pretty much counter peel. Yeah. yeah, GC Busan Wave just turned around and bopped We all. Big man advantage them, and this could be very quickly in GC Busan Wave's favor. 
It could, but Dance has the trance over on popping the primal as well. Just keeping them down. Fuse picking up Ion. Should be Daydream going down very soon as well. Ion out of it. Five on five. GC Busan wave. Looking to retake control right now, but Gen G holding back. Respawns back in. They boot Edison right off, and GC Busan wave unable to take control in the end. Great point contest for Gen G. Dance just sitting on that pillar, getting so much value from that damage from the Discord. Those are trans extremely quickly. Over on as well. The the primal contest so important. Just putting Ion in a position where you get picked up by Fuse. Yeah. Now still holding point 62% in the time bank for Jin G. GG Buzan Wei have to be feeling the pressure because they still don't even have grab yet. It, they're in a very, very tough spot right now. They're gonna open up with the rally, but again, you look to Gen G. Gen G can bide their time here, wait out a little bit of the rally, wait to go and fuse under pressure. Gonna be skating right out. And Genji now moving back in. Rally invested. Stalker holding on to the grab. GC Busan wave under a bit of pressure. There comes a boot from the side. Fuse looking for the knockoff. Nearly gets it. But Genji getting good stall here. Heavy Ion, pressure so onto Ion. Ion gonna get saved by the transcends just in the nick of time. As Oberon looking for knockoffs here in Primal. This is very dangerous for GC Busan wave. They have to avoid the Winston while staying on the point. Still trying to contest. Free. Gonna drop the self destruct off the grab from Edison. Looking for anything here. Not gonna get it. Daydream investing the barrier. But Gen G, they can layer a barrier of their own here. Fuse waiting for it. Gonna drop it. Now support edge of Gen G. Ion in super high danger here. Absolutely low. Hey, and the boop off the eye. Fuse gonna get Fielder out, and Gen G might be holding on. And this should be it. Dance is still alive. He's getting so much value right now. The heals, the Discord, huge boot from Fuse, and so important for Gen G. They just had the better Bunny Hop and support ults there. The sustain just lasted so much longer. That was really impressive for both teams towards the end. I mean, more so for Gen G because they won, but GC Busan Wave dealt with a lot of Winston pressure there, where you see a primal going on for that long and so many boop attempts happening and no one falling off despite coming dangerously close and also at the same point ion getting saved from near death multiple times it was a very valiant attempt there towards the end Just it was one. a valiant attempt but the problem with ion needing to be saved is that fielder had to pop that trance so early yeah. which is part of the reason why Jinji picks up that win there on sanctum because they just had the better sustain they had the later support ults well, and the support ults definitely are what won in the end, where when you finally go through the ults on both teams and Gen.G gets to end things with the late barrier, just it, it's too much for GC Busan Wave to deal with. Gen.G now rolling out. Both teams on that mirror matchup with the Reinhardt, but actually Stalker playing the Sombra, looking here to build that EMP. Sombra set up a bit of a change up, and actually they're able to get Edison down immediately. Very good now for Gen G because they're able to win the straight up fight with the Sombra, which is hard to do. They're going to get the extra cleanup here and first control. And not only that, they're going to be in the position to use EMP to set their alt economy right. Not even getting first control, but like you said, getting 90% on the EMP. GC Busan making the swaps free, going Zarya, Edison going to that McCree. Looking to use that flashbang, looking to use that damage to even deny some of that somber value. Because McCree, when he gets hacked, doesn't lose that much utility. He's about the same. He's a hero that's very resilient to Sombra, but I'm also not convinced that GC Busan Wave is going to play this super well. Stalker moves in, early EMP, follow through immediately there. And I wouldn't expect McCree to do a whole lot in the EMP fight here, even with the resilience, just because Gen G can dive into them. The real measure of this McCree is going to be the fight now. Well, that was a very early EMP usage for Gen G. 40% on that timing already. Still coming close to some of their own notes. But the thing is, when you're running this this Sombra, you don't have the cleanup for your grab. Realistically, we all's grab, the best they can hope for it, it most of the time is just getting the support ults out from GC Boost on Wave. Well, the interesting thing, they're not even going to need that much cleanup here. They might not realize it, but Fielder doesn't have Transcendence. If they grab them right now, it's going to be hard. They do realize it. They grab, they move in. And they don't get quite as much clamp as they want immediately, but they get enough. They find Ion off the That's grab. That's all they need. And that, yeah, it's absolutely all they need. Because there's no support ult still. Still nothing really. But GG Boost on Wave just bending back, coming back in. They've kept their energy alive. Stalker ta takes Edison out. And now GG Boost on Wave must leave. A lot of their damage is off the field with Edison gone. GG Boost on Wave going to have both their support ults very soon. But Jinji, they're going to have their own. And the EMP, most importantly, already at 70% again.
And I think the win condition for Gen G, I, I think they just need to wait a while here and let EMP build. And 83%. Hey, I mean, they'll have EMP. The real question is, do they commit it to the fight? If they do, they have to get Fielder or Daedrim, one or the other. Well, we're going to open up with the Deadeye here from Edison. Under pressure, not going to get much of anything. Can't hold it for long just because of getting flanked a bit from the side. And now we're in overtime. Final opportunity here for GC Busan Wave. Ion. Stalker can't get caught. He needs the EMP. He has EMP and he drops it. Immediately fall through on the shatter from Gen G. They use it to take down Ion. They make sure they get value from at least one. Now work at the man advantage. Barrier from Daydream coming in a little bit late, but they use it to take down Fuse and GC Busan Wave. Now starting to get clear up the other way. Graviton invested. Edison doing serious damage. We're falling, but Gen G just really tanky here. Too tanky for GC Busan Wave to Ion, fully flip back the, the fight. Shatter. Earth Shatter. Gets Late. Stalker on the ground, but the health is so bad. LVE takes out Stalker, though. We all really very charged up here. It's a two on two. They can't on get the through point. the barriers. They can't go through the barriers of Ion. The fight is going to reset fully for both sides here. GC Busan Wave respawn advantage a bit more wow. in their favor. So Genji has to back up. Really, really good engage. For GC Busan, I mean, from Ion play in particular, from Alpha Yi, but also just very sloppy from Jinji. They weren't able to deal with Edison on the point. They just they, they got Fuse also down went, went down so early, so they didn't have that beat for the longer fight. No GC Busan wave. Edison has built up another Dead Eye. He's gonna be able to hold back a little bit. Dead Eye can be a, a little bit of extra zoning power. Genji has to put on the brakes here. Can't immediately head forward. Dead Eye. all solo. It almost took down Wuyo, but they tried to finish it. Alpha Yi got baited over, taken down. Genji now, man advantage back the other way. EMP invested, and it's a full clean sweep for Gen G. That's going to be Gen G taking the round and taking the map. Going to be waiting now for the, the map to tick down. Well played from Gen G, picking up this first map of Nepal. Stalker Somber play. Looking really good. Looking yeah. really, really good. Building them quickly, getting value where they needed. And also, most importantly, because Gen G won those initial fights, they held point for so long, they had control point for so long, you really get just the long game, you'll just win over time because you have that EMP. The, the, one of the weaknesses of Sombra is the longer the fight runs, you, you must get EMP. You need it for your win conditions. And so when you already have so much time bank, you can wait for the win condition. Yeah, you, you can wait for it. And I mean, they played it really well. And the other thing that they did as well is that they didn't let Edison just sort of get high value on the McCree. They were very good at diving on him where necessary, playing sight lines. And I mean, right now, I just don't have a lot of faith in the Kree. I saw it come out there towards the end. I'm just like, well, okay, I mean, McCree's he did, coming he out. He did some crazy things. I mean, he got picks, but yeah. you lose the frontline war. He, he sure he when he gets hacked, he doesn't hmm. he doesn't lose it at value necessarily, but like they're on top of you and you're not going to live. You don't have you only have 200 HP. Yeah, it, it just has not been crazy effective. But guys, that's map one. Still a lot more to go here. We'll be back after the break.
Overwatch might be the Wild West in terms of results in recent times, but I'll tell you this much. It's not Wild West that's been super friendly to McCree play. No, it is not. Gen G taking the first map and just kind of brushing aside Edison when he brought out that McCree. I mean, Edison did not seem very, <laughs> did not seem to get a lot of value from that McCree comp, and we talked about it, we talked about it previously, and it's like, it's just a risk you run. McCree, 200 HP, damage dealer, gets negated by D.Va, gets negated by barriers. You have to be getting very, very good value, especially on flanks, but you're, you're at risk of your frontline being run over, even against Sombra comps. Yeah, and I mean, really, your ideal situation is one where you either get a super early pickoff or someone else on your team does, and then you kind of get the benefit that a McCree has where it's a fight that goes on a little bit longer. McCree, very good at cleanup, but it just didn't really pan out no, that way. Did not pan out at all. They weren't getting the value they needed. We're going to be looking here at our next map, looking at Blizzard World. Blizzard World, and yeah. uh, of course, our hybrid. something that we haven't seen a whole lot in recent memory, but now uh, in the Season Contenders map pool. And it is a map, again, that does give teams the flexibility to potentially not go full 3-3. And yet, as we take a look at, a lot of teams still opting. And Gen.G, I mean, they have very likely seen play Sombra here. Maybe yeah. Stalker's back in. Stalker so far has been played when they want to use that Sombra. And we and we saw Element Mystic in our previous matchup use a lot of Sombra as well. Maybe not to their, you know, they hit or miss in terms of how effective it was at times. But Doha was looking very good on it. A, they could show they could run it on defense or Blizzard World. So I wouldn't be surprised to see Gen G, which is a team that loves to stray away from traditional P3 anyways. Yeah, I mean, look, Sombra is quite good right now if you can run it. I mean, not every team can run it particularly well. But look, if you're getting beaten in the 3-3 game, you do have to consider other options in Sombra right now one of the more powerful ones that you can take a look at. But it is going to be Gen G coming out here on the attack first. So we don't really know what exactly they're running with for a while, but we can get a good idea of GC Busan Wave on the defense. And all right, Ion is going to be sub for Jongu. Interesting. So Ion out, Jongu in. And this might be for real. I mean, this is defense. They could still swap it all. They could jump off or otherwise, but 27 seconds left. This is going to be a very interesting defense coming out here from GC Busan Wave. The, it's going to be the quad DPS. The quad DPS solo tank, solo heal. Going to be running that Sombra, <laughs> which is something we have seen. But really, the, the, the crux of GC Busan Wave's defense here for first in particular is going to be how do they get EMP fast? How do they get a pick on a backline fast? They, and also, their, their point contest is going to be very limited. One scary thing when you run a Fara on defense this early too, is they're really vulnerable to a quick Widow swap to just like pop the Fara if she's not aware. Something that you know, an offense has a unique advantage of. Don't know if we'll see it here, but Genji running something that's more uh, ground and pound here. Genji moving high ground. Fielder, he needs to be aware. Okay, good. He's going to use the legs ability to get on out of there. <laughs> the legs, <laughs> the soldier, he can run. It's an extremely <laughs> important cooldown there. It's crazy when you get hacked, you can no longer use your legs for soldier. You <laughs> you just can't sprint anymore. You're just a brisk walker now. Look, uh, hacking has really come a long way in uh, the next 30 years. Yeah, we can, come, we can hack your nervous system. Is Jinji actually making the swaps? They do have Stalker in. Wikid going to that to that Tracer, Stalker on that Sombra. Oberon and Wuyol making... Uh, Wuyol staying pretty much about the same, but Oberon going to the Winston. Well, so far, the setup for GC Busan Wave has already burned about a minute off the clock. I think part of it is that Genji just... It's just Genji yeah. making the swaps. Yeah, they're making swaps also just figuring out, okay, how do we even approach this? All right now, GC Busan Wave still just holding, you know, a very variety of different angles, holding his high ground as Oberon actually catches Fielder. He gets the good engage on them. Fielder, the legs ability. You need to get <laughs> away from that engage. Stalker picks up free... Uh dances down in return, but this is much better for Gen G. And, and for Gen G now as well, GC Busan Wave, this composition they're running relies on hitting you from multiple angles all at the same time. They just cut down the angles pretty considerably by getting two early pickoffs. Gen G now dominance here on the point. They're just waiting Sp for Jongu to come back. They need Jongu oh. to come back for the contest. Alpha was so close. Game picked off. Jongu going to come back in. Answered here by the MP from Getting Stalker. Four. Gen G. Looking for the fall through off, and Oberon more than willing to clean up two off the EMP. And Gen G going to be taking point A after a bit of swaps. Great EMP from Stalker there because they also got free with it. Free was looking to set up his own EMP, but since he's hacked, can't use it. It's going to be Gen G taking first. They're in a very solid old position as well. Both their tangles up very soon. Stalker looking to get a little poke here on the fielder, <laughs> but the fielder forces him back. GG's on wave actually staying 
with this composition, knowing that they have the Pulse, having the EMP, having the Barrage. Yeah, I mean, I'm curious to see if they're going to save it after this next round of ultimates, uh, win or lose, but oh! Catching Oberon early. Heavy burst damage. Oberon not prepared. Man advantage now, the GC Busan wave, and they're going for it. They're just going for heavy cleanup. didn't have to use any either. No. Had to use zero ults there. Well, that is, that is a rare thing, you know? When you're running a whole bunch of DPS heroes, believe it or not, you can burst things down can. without ultimates. As Fuse, and Fuse! Fuse wins the 1v1 with Edison! Embarrassing. I said Fuse because I was like, this fool. I was, <laughs> I was trying to say fool and I combined it with Fuse because that should not happen. No, it, it absolutely should not. I mean, look, Lucio can do more burst damage than expected. It's all headshots, but it's Tracer. You have well, a rebound. It doesn't matter key. because Free, he's been waiting. He's been looking for Dance to come back from spawn. He does get him. Alpha E also getting Stalker in the back line. Really very, very split for both teams. Jinji just needs to make a much better play. Oh, Ooh, great rocket. Fuse is having a rough time of things right now. Gets caught by that last rocket. Wakid. Drops the pulse, on the but doesn't side. matter because Daydream, he's got a res for it. Yeah. Resurrection, still an ability. Although we, we say Probably that. Probably not going to yet... be going for it. I don't think, I think it's in a position where they're not able to get the res. Well, it's because Fielder can use his legs. Can run back pretty quickly. And right now, free, no EMP. Did use that to pick up Dance. Jongu hacked. Wakid picking up Edison as well. Here's the ult from Oberon. I think he's going to be able to catch Daydream. He's looking for it. And yes, chases it down with the Primal Rage. Ends up falling for it, but you know, as they say, might be worth. Wakid, though. Going around, Wakeed picks up getting two. A lot. Wakeed finishing what Oberon started. Absolutely good cleanup towards the very end. And Gen G now able to break through this heavy and DPS Gigi setup. Have, they have a lot of win conditions here. They have double support ult. They have the Diva Bomb. They have the EMP. Gigi was on wave. are going to have to play very split because they have no defensive ults. Only the Valkyrie. Valkyrie, though, still pretty strong. Also, Tac Visor could get to Oh, the, the self destruct catches out. Daydream. What a big self-destruct from Gen G. And again, this world keep plenty of room to work with, plenty of ability to get in and get cleanup kill after cleanup kill. There's the pulse caching dance, but point control. So strong for Gen G right now. They also still have the beat. They have another pulse coming up. That'll be the cap. You know, Alfie has been hanging on to this barrage for a long time. Decides to use it, not gonna get anything. And that has to be indication of swaps coming in here. And I do think 3-3 is on the way for GC Busan. Oh, wow, that was a great blink for Wikid. He's having this duel with Fielder, with Edison. He actually wins that duel. The blink denying the hack. And Wikid, you know, a, a player that we've seen a lot on Projectile Heroes previously and on the on the stock on Brigida duty. But this trades have been hmm. very strong. Unleashed. At least for a time, and nope, the, the party is over. The chaos ending. We're uh, heading. Both into... teams sticking with Sombra, though. Yeah, it's gonna be three, two, one on both sides. Free, of course. You wouldn't want to throw away the EMP, so it makes sense as to why he stayed on it. That much is for sure. That much is for sure. Stalker, seventy percent to that EMP fuse, still having beat, but fuse can't get caught by the EMP of Free here. Busan Busan wave, looking to slowly bring this forward. Free. Setting up for the MP, Gen G, finding another time. Fuse or free going in, dropping the MP. Immediately looking for Zen. Not able to dance. dance. No, not quite. And that's all GC Busan Wave need. The early pickoff. They don't want to go too deep here, but they're looking to maybe get an extra to throw onto it, chasing it down. And this is gonna be very good stagger for GC Busan. Extremely good stagger for GC Busan. However, now we're gonna play the the EMP hop game because <laughs> Stalker has that EMP. Dance getting close to a trance. That rhymes. Yeah. And Stalker just going to be looking for the ZP setup. Stalker waiting. Stalking. He's waiting for the team. He's waiting for Genji to get in position to follow up. Over the top. Pretty good the EMP. Uh, GC was on wave. I like the rotation they went for. Just still not enough. The EMP caught them right in the grill as they were trying to rotate out. And Genji following up on it. Going to be getting a lot of payload progress. Minute 45 to go. Fielder going down a little late there. Now Genji moving the cart. However, GC was on wave. Have grab coming up, have that rally, have the shatter as well. So plenty of ults up, plenty of ways for them to recontest. It's going to be a very tough fight for Gen G here, unless Stalker just gets a nice hack or an early pick off unassisted. He's going to be looking for Fielder, goes for the hack, puts on bit of damage, but can't stay, eats a little bit too much. Now you see GC Busan very aggressively moving into this fight. I think they realize they have the old advantage. They get Dance on the other side, and they John got Goon's that. hacked over on it. Was he going to look for the shatter? No, he's not. Too much quite. pressure. I'm surprised he wasn't looking for the shatter during that hack, but too much pressure. I, I think it's also with the early pickoff, they weren't feeling confident about it e anymore, even though that is a situation where you can fight back down a man. Can, and now the ults have really been equalized, free having the EMP advantage though, which is the most important ult leading into this fight. 
Final minute, GC Busan Wave moving forward the defense. They drop the EMP immediately, but free is free. Couldn't Gets get taken a down. Okay, run time. No, he couldn't get away. And now Gen G, man advantage, EMP threat already gone. Wu Yao dropping the grab. The pressure coming in hot and heavy. GC Busan Wave under the gun right now as Wu Yao continues his reign over and in. Edison holding on to the grab, but hasn't had a great opportunity to use it. And the pressure, the staggering, absolutely sublime. Mirror Chair coming in from Oberon, locking them back in spawn. And Gen G going to move forward. This is going to be their point. It is. That was a great push, a great stagger push for Gen G. Not even having to use the EMP there for that fight. But really, just no cleanup. Onto freeze, onto freeze EMP, partly because Jinji was already engaged. They were already fighting the rest of GZ Busan Wave. He's only able to catch two and dies in return to Wu Yao. Wu Yao is doing a lot in that fight. Wu Yao definitely found his stride towards the very end, and that was kind of the somber nightmare, as it were, where you go for the EMP, maybe go a little bit too deep in the territory to make it happen, and you don't even get out before you end up falling. Uh, it's not the ideal situation, especially given the level of power that the EMP usually has. It's an ultimate that should lead your team to a decisive engagement and just wasn't the case But you there. have to get the right players too. Yeah. Because Free was going for an EMP on that main push when the rest of GG was actually just rotated through the flank and already fighting. So you just didn't get the value that you needed and then and then dies in return. So dropping an EMP, trading your life for it when your team can't follow up because of a previously already being engaged, which is not what you needed. Now, swapping sides here, it's going to be Gen G coming out on, again, another 3-2-1 setup with the Sombra. GC Busan Wave, of course, very self-evidently looking for more quad DPS action. And I have to ask, what are your thoughts on the setup from GC Busan Wave? I mean, quad DPS, we've seen it work. I think that first point is a pretty solid point to use this Farah in particular, the Farah Mercy, considering that... There isn't really, there's no D.Va on the field for Gen.G. They're running a Sombra, which is actually a lot less effective at testing Fair Mercy than a D.Va. I guess one question I have point to specifically, are you sold on the 76 in the setup? Um, I'm not necessarily sold on 76, but really he's a necessity because you can't really give, you don't want to give value. You don't want to give any resources from your Mercy to your backline if Fielder was on that Zin. So might as well have them on the 76 where they can self-sustain and do damage. So the idea there is it's mostly for the sustain. It, it's a lot so he doesn't have to get any help. He can just do whatever he wants, <laughs> just run around. Don't help him. He can run away. Well, he couldn't we run away. We say that as Stalker <laughs> finds him, gets the hack, his legs are disabled, and then that's going to be uh, the, the early pickoff. Just could not run away. Genji with the man advantage, which again, not as decisive when you're running against quad DPS. There's still explosiveness for GC Busan Wave, but Genji... Handling it pretty well right now. A very good read from from Jinji. Very, very good read because of the fact that uh, they were able to catch Fielder. Fielder, though, uh, getting his revenge. Stalker went to the well one too many times, and Fielder off of that, giving GC Busan wave. The man advantage as Alpha Yi. A lot of room to work with here in the Fara. You can see the Hammond pile drive on in. Alpha Yi chasing it down and finds Fuse. The Alpha Yi pick, picking up Fuse right now. It's just gonna be uh it's just gonna be them poking on point. It is so Edison holding on to the pulse bomb right now. Moving forward, gonna be dropping the pulse bomb, connects on the dance. And right now Edison picking up two. Just fight, fighting here on point. Getting a third. Edison cleaning up here on these frags. We see Edison just rolling around after cleaning that up and this is looking pretty good for GC Busan Wave after a matter of time. Overall, I'd say it's pretty even between the two teams. Not a bad defense, not the quickest offense. But now we'll see how things work as we move into the next phase. Edison doing a lot in that fight. And most importantly for GC Busan Wave, they're going to have the EMP up soon. They're going to have a lot of their ults available. Alpha Yi holding on to the barrage right now where... See how he sets us up here. EMP though coming out for the defense can be pretty effective. Dance will have a trance. It's going to have that support ult ready to just counter the EMP. And it's going to be very, very important that they try to survive. They try to live through freeze EMP here. Alfie yeah, sitting over the top right now, waiting for his opportunity. Barrage locked and loaded right now. And now it's a matter of how the EMP is going to be. The EMP is going to be moving in and off the EMP. Jangu going to fall immediately. John Goo down, and that's also going to be the pickups onto Alpha E, onto Daydream, making them ground based, taking them out of the air. And it's going to be now Jinji moving forward, just looking for the contest. 
And Genji, again, uh, it's been interesting to watch this go forward here, where the EMP play from Stalker has been quite good. Yes, for sure. I mean, Stalker has been their somber specialist for Genji, is what it looks like, how they're really utilizing Stalker on that role. Now, here comes Genji Busan Wave moving from spawn, looking to set up this next engagement as Free goes down so early. Free down super early in the fight. And we see Edison right now just pushing the payload all on his own. Edison just contesting. We all picking up Alpha Yi and Daydream as well. Now it's going to be GC Busan Wave backing up. Genji still having a great defense. Genji holding here on the payload. And again, three minutes left on defense. There's still plenty of time on the other side, but Genji has rebounded reasonably well here. Nearly six ults up for GC Busan Wave. They have to be looking to get some value in this next fight. Maybe even force this pulled out the support ult early from Fueler. There's the EMP from Free. Free leading with the EMP. And so far on the other side, Genji is able to ward off the worst for it. They lose Wu Yall, but okay, after losing Wu Yall. They're pushed back. Alpha E room to work with. And even after their first pickup, they just can't recover. Having to use two ults there, using the Valk, using the EMP. Very important win conditions. And now, most importantly for Genji, double support ult up available for them. So Fielder, going to have a lot of trouble. Alpha E as well, having a lot of trouble to get value out of this. So Alpha E holding in the sky right now. Let me take a look here for Gen G. You have Stalker holding on to EMP, wrapping around the right hand side. Looking for Fielder again. He's been isolating Fielder pretty heavily. Winston diving in with him, dives on out with the Edison actually there. forcing Stalker to translocate back. Yeah. Fielder still getting chased over on picking up the frag. He's on Daydream as well. Can he grab it? It's going to be tough. Well, he's looking for Renau, chasing down Mercy, coming awfully close, going to batter right out of the sky. The aid of Stalker on the other side, and Gen G is making this a very Edison long gets slot. both supports, though, Ooh. with the double pulse bomb. Neither ult going to be on the field. However, GZ Pusan Wave don't have a lot of cart presence. No, not quite. And it's coming down to the wire here for GC Busan Wave. Edison still just doing his best. Contesting cart, making sure it's keeping on moving. Daydream, he's back with Alpha Yi. However, both Fuse and Dance are back now, too. Genji, though, they're absolutely loaded for this next fight, but Dance is down early. Dance is you, down again, you, the one clip. You can have the ults all you want, but when you lose some of the Tracer that early, things get a little bit rough. Big opportunity now for GC Busan Wave. They're waiting the, their time as they decide to go in. EMP now up. They drop the EMP. They get Wu Yao out as he's going for the self-destruct, so it comes at a cost. Fielder Wu Yao trading out. Here comes Edison on the assault here once more. Drops a pulse bomb, forces out the Transcendence. While this is going on, John Gu. Ends up falling towards the point. And it's Gen G able to rotate over, get control of the fight midway through, and we're down to the final minute. It is, and I, it really is going to be are they going to swap? Are GZ Busan Wave going to make the swaps they need? They can definitely go 3 3 and just win the fight straight up because there's not going to be any ults really available besides Overrun's Primal. And now, Edison okay. actually going to McCree again. Okay, th this. this is really just the comfort zone here on the other side where it's like things are going rough. I guess we throw Edison onto the McCree, which has not been super effective so far. I mean, it has not yet. We have we've seen some of his work in the past, has some all right moments, but he has to have a lot more value now for this swap because this is the last fight territory for GC Busan Wave. We'll see, Edison is able to be the hero that GC Busan Wave needs here. A little bit of payload progress well, coming in, and Edison's down. Be Stalker no. found him in the back, of course, aided by Brigida. That's what you want there. If you're running protecting McCree comp and McCree goes down early, oh, well, it's going to be pretty hard to win the fight as Gen G off that early pickoff. Just absolute control of the payload. The final gambit from GC Busan Wave here. Not going to work. As a result, it's going to be Gen G taking Blizzard World and going up a pretty dominant 2 to nothing here in the series. And Stalker Sombra has been dismantling. GC Busan wave here a lot of these times. And Edison, he's trying to make these swaps onto picks that he's comfortable with. I mean, he, he's great on those picks he's comfortable with, but when you make that McCree swap at the end for the last fight and you split from the rest of your team, Stalker recognized, hey, he has no help. Let's get him. Yeah. And that's a pick early, very, very early for Genji. And Stalker was remarkably consistent there as well, where you think about his ability to go to the back and harass DPS where they were at, where Fielder was having a very tough time of it uh, with Sombra constantly on him. And then towards the very end where the double team, right? It's Brigida, Sombra that somehow get on the McCree where I think Edison was trying to go for a bit of a flank. And the problem was he got caught out. 
So that last moment gambit also not working. No, that the, the one you really just forced that isn't getting any sort of value there for that last fight, and they weren't able to do it. The, the quad DPS not working out perfectly what they needed on second. They just could not set up the EMP, could not set up the barrage ever. Stalker, despite you know they were run, they were running Stalker on that Sombra, he was sort of the hard counter a lot of the times for the Fair Mercy, which is you don't see that too often. But the hacks you were getting were insane. You have to be denying those hacks. It, absolutely, and overall. Very good stuff coming from Gen G. We'll see if GC Busan Wave can bring it back. Could be a tough row, but guys, one more half of gameplay still to come.